Okay, so hello, and this is just going to be a quick video based on something that people get a bit confused with, and that's the terminology between felsic and the mafic rocks. So sometimes they do find that they have termed acidic or silly, silly sick, which I just learnt today because I never read about it before. It's on the US uh, Geological Survey. So all these terms are pretty much the same. They are the same. So felsic, so these are rocks with incompatible elements, silicon, aluminium, phosphate, sodium, and the minerals they form are quartz, orthoclase, a potassium feldspar, and sodium-rich plagioclase. And the rocks that you would find these in granite, rhyolites, and equivalent rocks. And then we have intermediate. Intermediate's intermediate. Whether you use acidic, or basic or felsic and mafic intermediates the same. So then we have mafic and basic, and that's basalt, gabbros, and anything higher up. And then you've got ultra mafic and probably, yeah, ultra felsic. Yeah, is that an actual rock? This mainly contains all silica. So we've got compatible elements. So these are elements that easy make crystal forms. So we've got. Most of them are iron and magnesium, but you have other elements like zinc and whatever else you can find. So ferromagnesium elements, minerals. Uh, olivine is the first one. Pyroxene, amphibol, and uh, plagioclase. It's probably, that will be the calcium-rich plagioclase. So I should have put that. So basically, this is a grading system. As the calcium is used, then it starts to use the sodium. So, uh, if you know the Bowen reaction series, so here we have the Bowen reaction series. So you got high temperatures at which olivines and calcium-rich plagioclase would uh, form first. Then you got pyroxenes, amphiboles. Then you got biotites. So this is. This side will be the mafic series, so those high in uh, iron and magnesium. This is elements lower in iron and magnesium, higher in uh, silica. And down below, when all of these minerals are used, all you have is SiO4, that's quartz. And that is the last thing to form, but it might include... And you know, other elements in the actual matrix, which doesn't form part of the crystal, but it does change the actual color. So it might include some magnesium or iron, which would change it to, you know, a different color. But this pure quartz uh, is probably just a grayish color. 